another lost fish. Hey everybody, this is Jason with Lone Star Catfish. Um, quick evening trip, um, just after a front came through last night, but I'm, I'm trying to challenge um, some of my preconceived notions here on pressures and fronts. Um, so with this front came some higher pressure, um, and so I've come up into this creek, um, into this scour hole um, that I've had success in, and I just I want to see. I had some free time this evening, so I just wanted to put baits out, and I want to see um, what do the fish do in that high pressure. Um, everything I've been tracking thus far has been, you know, if I get over say 30.1 inches, um, then I'm not getting any bites. Um, but I thought that's out in the main lake. Let me, you know, under that high pressure, let me come up in a creek and see what's going on. So you know, right off the bat, had a great takedown, good fish on, and once again the fish comes off at the surface. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong um, or if the hooks uh, are the wrong size. I, I've, I've tried multiple different things um, and I've got multiple other bites as we're going and they're just, and some of them look like good takedowns. I mean, the, the rod is going down, the line is going out and then just release and come back. So something's not happening. Uh, either the fish are too small. In fact, I got one right here. Here we go. So, and that's a perfect example. I, I, I that's not going to pick up on this front camera, but that rod was in the water and then just pops back up and there's nothing there. So I, I, I don't know what that is. I, I don't know if it's something other than catfish um, or if I just don't have the right thing going on. I mean, let me just show you this. I mean, that's what I've got going. I, I don't see how there's anything wrong with that. I've got plenty of hook uh, point exposed. I don't have the gap um, being you know, fouled up at all. But whatever's grabbing that is not getting that hook in its lip. So, um, so we're going to keep going and we're going to give it a try and we're going to see what I can come up with here. I um, actually just saw a couple beautiful bald eagles fly over me. Um, I was hoping they would come back. I'd give my, uh, my phone out and take uh, some, some good uh, video of them and maybe incorporate that because that, that may be the only thing I end up catching on camera. So, uh, but you know what? We're going to give this a shot. I got about two hours until sunset. Um, and like I said, it's, it's, you know, sort of pre Thanksgiving and, uh, I got some free time. Um, and, and here we go again. So this time I got this front camera on here. So maybe I catch that. And assuming I actually make a video out of this, I, I can share some of that, but another, another missed hookup. I, I don't know what's happening. So, but that's it. I'm going to sit here and just enjoy this over over, uh, cast sky. It's nice and cool. Got a little North wind blowing. Uh, it's very peaceful, so if nothing else, I'm just going to enjoy the peace and quiet. And uh, hopefully, for maybe the first time in a month, I might be able to put a video together. So, until then. Okay. One, at least for now, is hooked up. Okay. Oh, got a little too much line there. Come back here. So this actually helps answer a little question for me. So something I had done the last trip out, I was kind of having some similar problems. Uh, and so on this rod here, I have a smaller hook, right? Now this is, I want to say a four-aught hook where my others are five and six-aught hooks. So you can see that hook size right there caught that fish. And, and, this, it's, and this fish explains another little thing, which is this is a channel cat, right? His mouth is not as big is what a blues is going to be. So if I look at that hook compared to that mouth, that is about the right size for that fish. Therefore, I caught him. If this is what's hitting me on the rest of these, those bigger hooks, they're just not getting in the mouth and they're coming out. So um, I do think I have more of these. Um, I might I might sit here and maybe swap out the, the rod that's still back here behind me. Um, and let's just see. You know, maybe I can end up um, 
getting a better feel for what I'm missing and what size hooks I need to be using. Uh, so there we go. Skunk is out, fish in the boat. Not a bad channel cat. If I was catching them to eat, that's, uh, that's a fish I could catch or I could keep right there. So. have to convince me that you want that and that you're going to stay on there. Are you on there? You got to want it. You got to want it. I ain't picking this up only to lose you. All right, let's see what you got. All right, let's see. Yep. All right, well, he's hooked himself. Okay, that's better. Now that, mm, I still think that's a channel cat. I still think that's a little channel, but he managed to get it in his mouth. Well, he's all beat up. Beat up on his mouth right there. See that? So that's about the size it was in here. Yeah, still that little bitty mouth. So, not bad. I don't know why he had to splash me. But... Alright, so, that was interesting. Much smaller bait there, too. I took one of these baits and actually cut it in half. I didn't go ahead and get it in his mouth. So, try that again. While I try to tie this line right here. There's that smaller hook, and he's hooked himself up, so there you go. All right. Now that's a pretty good fish right there. All right, but look, I don't know if, if this will pick that up. That hook set, that's right where I want it to be. All right, so this is about the right size hook that I need to be using, so I think I think I just, well, that's actually got him in the eye, so you could even make the argument that, that this is too big still. I don't think he's worth measuring, but he's probably the biggest fish I've caught today, so let's at least put him on the board. Okay, and he's... That's an 18 inch fish, right? That's not a bad, and that one actually looks like a blue cat, right? So three odd hook is what caught that. So I think, I mean, so far that, that's already kind of telling me that I need to get these hooks downsized. So right, let's keep going. Once again, he feels like he's got to splash me on the way out. Wow. I tell you what, for that takedown, <laughs> that's a little fish. Come here. Another good hook set. Okay, again. Not gonna break any records. Okay. Put him in about that 16 inch, just guesstimate here. I got a small ruler here on the side, so 16 inches. Well, he sure hit hard. Wow. Hey. 
Maybe I'm dropping them wrong because they splash me every time. Hard fighting channel cat, I'm sure. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that four out four out hook is doing the job though. It's helping me put fish in the boat. inches long. Okay. Again, that's what's in here today, so that's what I'm catching. All right. I'm getting smarter on how to drop them in, too. Instead of head first, going with tail first. All right, so the theme tonight has really been about experimenting. I came out knowing that there was high pressure right after the front last night. Um, but I wanted to see if I could still get a bite here in the creek. It hasn't worked for me out in the main lake. I thought, well, maybe maybe they move up into the creek. And this lake is so shallow, there's not really a lot of places for them to go. So you can't really say they're going deep unless they're all just migrating, you know, five to six miles down to the south end of the lake. Not that they're not going to do that from time to time. But um, so I thought, well, maybe maybe they're moving out of the main lake and they're just moving up into these creeks. So that was part of the experimentation. The other part was, you know, I came out here, uh, you know, immediately started getting takedowns with, with no hookups. So again, the question is, why not? Um, I put a rod that I already had a slightly smaller hook on, immediately caught a fish on that rod. So then I swapped out uh, another rod with an even smaller hook, went to a four odd. I think I've been saying three odd, but it was a four odd hook. I, I think I have a six odd. Um, on, on my big poles, the, the one here and the one that's back behind me, a six to seven aught. I can't even remember what I put on there. Uh, I had downsized this one last weekend uh, to something smaller. What I'm guessing now is five aught because it's still a little bit bigger than the four aught that I put on this rod. Both of those rods immediately started catching fish. So these bites that I was getting suddenly started getting hookups. And I could see just the results, the hookups in the corner of the mouth um, and burying good. Um, even ended up getting one here on the little bit uh, bigger hook. Um, and, and a lot of that was, I just let it go. I, I didn't even pick it up until that thing was on there for a good 30 to 60 seconds. Um, and I don't know if that made any difference, me leaving it there, but certainly not you know, pulling on it at all and just let the fish kind of do what he wants. And uh, so here's a little bite over here too. So. Um, so it's been good. Like I said, my, my goal right now is to experiment, try to understand, instead of just blindly coming out here to spots, um, try to go to the spot that's going to give me the best opportunity and use the equipment that's going to give me the best opportunity, especially when it comes to the hooks. So, good takedown. a good fish or a good swimmer moving the kayak yeah, just a good swimmer <laughs> this channel cat they just swim With the blues they like to roll and these channels they just go and you can see why they're like little rockets Ooh, that is interesting signature down there on the bottom. I floated over this spot several dozen times and I don't remember that being down there. So, whatever you are, I hope you're hungry. I got a uh, the mouth of this creek where it opens up into the lake. Um, you do 
doing my uh, soliloquy here, and I got fish biting. Um, Like he's very big. There he goes. It's not bad. God dang, he's not bad. <laughs> Might be the best fish of the night. I, he just was a light biter. And he came off. Well, that was the best fish of the night. But he did not want to come and see me. That might have been that signal that I saw down there. And now he knows I'm here, so he won't come back. So to finish my wonderful story, the mouth of this creek where it opens up into the lake, um, it's like a it's like a river delta, and it just slows down in the sediment that's up in here. In fact, they're they're dredging further up the creek because it runs through the neighborhood, and it's just become so filled with debris and sand and dirt and mud. Uh, they're they're clearing it out, and so now they're taking that out, but naturally. Uh, a lot of it's still coming down the creek and of course through all the floods that we've had so right at the mouth of this thing it just drops all that sand and that mud and it's incredibly shallow i mean in the kayak i have to weave my way around and find enough uh, water just to float and there's that bald eagle right there It's not exactly the best camera to get shots like that, but... So the point is, it's shallow out there, and I'm going to have to weave my way around. So even though it's only about a 20-minute paddle, or, or I'd say it's about a 15-minute paddle if I could just go, it's going to take me at least an extra five minutes to navigate my way through that out there. Uh, and I'm going to try a little bit different route than I did last time to see if I can't find something that's better. Um, so. That's why I need to leave right at 5 to give myself plenty of time. The story was interrupted multiple times, and it wasn't that interesting, so... Oh well. That is going to about do it for me tonight. Um, I'm going to leave these poles in the water here as I, as I pack up. Um, but I, I'm sure glad that I'm going to get to talk to y'all again here. As I've said now probably repeatedly, um, it's been a tough month. I've had four trips where I either got completely skunked, caught one or two fish, or or caught a decent amount of fish, but my cameras didn't work. So um, I haven't been able to put a video together. Uh, I actually tried today to maybe look at putting a video together um, of the different intros and things that I'd done, but I didn't really even have enough for that. Um, so there really wasn't much to show. Um, this is not the greatest video today, um, but I did catch some fish. I did some experimenting. I learned a little bit, um, and I'm going to take some notes when I get home. So, um, but I've got a good paddle back. Um, it's going to be sunset in 22 minutes. So I'm going to head that way and go get some dinner and uh, watch some TV. So. It's good to see everybody again, and uh, hopefully I get to do this again maybe a couple times here over the, the holiday break, uh, and maybe I'll make up for my, my missed weeks and uh, publish a bunch of videos. So that's it. See ya. Oh, baby,